Do you think right. it's, do you think that has been too much of that, Maggie? Yeah, I agree. I mean, everybody's, I, I make this, I think I say this all the time. It's like, you're not safe anywhere. We're not safe here. Someone could have lost mm-hmm. their job and just decide to come shoot up the whole building. Sure. Baseball player got shot, I think, today. Um, in DR, somebody yeah, from the Yankees. Got shot in the club in DR. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just anywhere, the movies, anywhere you are. And so is that constantly on your mind? Yeah, I'm very. I think I'm very vulnerable now. Um, as I said, I grew up in foster care, so mm-hmm. I lived in many neighborhoods. My best friend um, lives in the projects. So I tell her I'm there before I'm there, before I would sit there comfortably. But I'll tell her I'm there, and I'm like ten minutes away. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um, as for clubs, I still try to go out and have a good time, but I'm very aware of exits. I'm very aware of where Absolutely. I'm standing, where I'm sitting, how many people is going to be able to fit through this one exit. And then I make my little snaps like I'm having fun, and then I, I, I go back into making sure everything's happening. And then when um, I'm, I always make sure I get checked. Or what do you whoever mean I'm with, checked, like get checked. Like if I'm going somewhere and they're not checking people, I'm probably not. Oh, I go. see what you mean. Yeah. Security. <laughs> yeah, the security doesn't really check like celebrities or, and they're the ones that have you know the the conflicts, the fights, the. So. That's interesting that you say, but you know what? That's a heightened sense of awareness we all need to carry, mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. not and. Unfortunately, it only came to surface because of what happened with you. Mm -hmm. And so now every day you said what Sean said, that you're living constantly with pain. What is it like for you day to day with this rod connecting your femur? Well, it kind of really depends on the weather, but I I can't run. Like I work out, I have to just do, you know, the Stairmaster, but I can't run. I can't wear certain heels that I was able to wear before, depending on like the weather when it's raining or something, you know, it's like aches and pains. The bullet actually sticks out at some point in time. The scar tissue like builds up and Mm. then the bullet is like bulging out of my leg at times, but they don't want to take it out because they said, um, the, that it's lodged in like a muscle. Mm. Yeah. I know of a lot of friends who've been shot, and they say the same thing about the weather. Oh, absolutely. That when it rains, and, and just think about that, how often does it rain, and sure. it reminds you of your pains and your trauma. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, Doc, what should we do to help overcome traumatic experiences such as this, especially when gun situations are consistently in our faces and being brutalized in our communities? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the, the one of the easy answers would be, you know, you go in with the lobbyists and try and get gun laws and legislation. But the reality is um, most folks that are shooting um, don't have licenses for their guns in the first place. No, and they don't go to target um, practice, which is how right. they make these mistakes. <laughs> right, because that means um, but they're lot- trained to shoot, mentally trained to shoot, but not rightfully trained to shoot. Absolutely. Right. And so a lot of it is um, attempting to change the culture, the gun culture itself. You're very right. When we look at television, pop culture is saturated. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've, a lot of folks were fans of the television series Luke Cage. And I used to say, yes. when you understand that this brother is supposed to be bulletproof, but people still shoot. It's okay. just, what is, the, what is the concept of shooting? And you know he's and bulletproof. Continuing to shoot and continue, right. There's, there's a message that you're sending um, that if I'm angry, if I'm upset, if I'm feeling something... Instead of me talking this out, trying to work it out, walking away, any of this, mm-hmm. let's get a gun and shoot. And so that has to be reprogrammed a lot and not after something has happened, but just as a general rule. Um, and I think sometimes it doesn't we don't have young people sitting still. We don't let them sit still and huh. teach them things about how to problem solve without turning to violence in the first place. So I like no to, one wants to get beat up. I like, I like <laughs> to speak to that. 